So guys, I am back with another Power World video. And I can't tell you guys how many times I've been asked the question of how do you get that high quality power oil? This stuff right here. Today guys, I've been complete guide on every way I know in getting this vital material. And before we go any further guys, I'm giving away a couple copies of this game, Xbox Steam, you name it. Now if you win on Xbox uh, and you don't have Game Pass, I'll purchase Game Pass for you. If you play on PC, I'll purchase a game on Steam for you. Now to be in the chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. The more of my videos I see you supporting, the more of a chance you have of winning when it comes to me picking that winner. Good luck. Okay, so high quality power oil. Where do you get this from? Well, there's actually a couple of places. Um, there's a vendor as well. There's a couple of powers you can farm. And today I will explain all. Okay, so first things first, the powers you can farm. We'll start with this one right here, the Dig Toys. Now the Dig Toys is actually quite a bit of a beast, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but there's two spots on the map. You can come and farm this dude, fight this dude, and he'll drop this high quality power oil for you. See right here guys in his habitat, we can see right center of the map. Um, it's actually an easier spot to come to, you see in this clip on screen now. There's not loads of them here, but they're actually a level 20. So if you're roughly around that level, let's say 17 to 22, you should easily take these dudes out. And again, they drop you that high quality power oil. The other spot is top right of the map. Now this looks like a snowy area. In fact, it's very cold at night. It's a desert during the day, it's really hot. So you will need um, proper armor here. Heat resistant, cold resistant, if you're gonna come up here. Or a certain kind of power that uh, basically eliminates that problem for you. I have one, his name is a Kitson, which is probably my favorite floor tame, ground tame in the game. Amazing, but yeah. So that right there, guys, is a great place to come and farm this dude. There's also the Mammoth, is it called? Let's have a look. This guy right here. Yeah, the Mammoth Rest. Mammoth, I was calling it. So this guy right here, guys, also drops high quality power oil. But I think he drops more of it. Now, he is all over the map. But he's at a higher level even earlier on. So you can see him all around by my base. is is loads of them here. Uh, but you can see them everywhere. And again, this guy's actually a real easy fight. I'll showcase to you guys. Okay, so a little edit, a little cut in the video to make it daytime so we can see what we're doing. Now we can see the actual Mamoros right here and you'll see, for me it's quite an easy take out. It probably won't be the same for you guys, but if I just drop out my kitchen, my kitchen absolutely kicks ass. It's no problem whatsoever for this dude. So this is how I all get all mine, but there is actually a, a vendor you can buy it from too. So there we go. Got uh, 21 of it there, got 27 leather and six of his meat. So that's pretty cool too. But yes, as I said, this dude spawns in quite quite frequently all over the map. So what about the vendor? Well, the vendor, guys, he charges. It's like 300 per, per oil. But I'll show you exactly where he is because a lot of people are skipping over this dude. I don't know why because he also saw well there's actually a vendor nearby that sells them weapons too okay so you want to come so that's that's your first starting fast travel point so you want to come down and you just want to come this way and you want to come to this fast travel point called fisherman's point there's a there's three vendors here one's kind of like hidden out of the way um one sells like normal materials which is this guy right here he sells those normal materials. I say normal materials, some of these may be handy for you. Actually, this guy sells the weapons. So yeah, if you need weapons, come to this dude. Uh, the guy down here sells those pals. You may as well check out, just in case he's got something I don't have. Should be rare. Nope, got them all, what's that? Oh, I've got them all. Okay, so the other vendor, if you come back up guys, he is located down this way. You see him? Hiding back there, sneaky mofo. Okay, so this is right here. He sells this oil for 300 each. He also sells horns, bones, which is used to make that cement, which we need, leather. Uh, he sells a lot, including mega spheres, skills, 
you name it, guys. Latest tomatoes, even for those plantations. I mean, you know, need three of these for each one. So it's quite easy to come and get these. So these cost 300 each. So you're probably strapped for gold. So do I know a way of making easy gold? Yes, I do. And it, it's bare minimum. It will make you thousands, thousands of people. And the best thing is, it's more or less AFK. So you need to come to a certain dungeon. So you can see where up on the map, guys. So again, we go from the base, the starting fast travel point. I just want to come this way along. Oh, shit, my, I got stick drift so bad. So you just want to come. See this here, guys? This is literally where you need to come to. Literally first fast travel point, And then this one right here. All you got to come to. Now, uh, from this fast travel point, there is a dungeon located right here. Now this dungeon is home to a little black cat called Demau, I believe it's pronounced. M-A-U. This is the only dungeon, the only place in this game I've seen these. So they're quite rare. They're only like a level between 8 and 11. They're easy to tame as long as you have those spheres. Capture as many of these as you can. I'd recommend between 5 and 10. Because these things, guys, will drop you gold AFK. As long as you have a ranch in your base. So how this works is uh, if you go into this dungeon and there ain't any in here, you can actually reset and re make the enemies respawn. So if you go into a room and the enemy's wrong, you simply come back out of that room, come back on yourself a bit and go back into it. You'll notice the enemies will have respawned and rotated. Do this guys until you have these cats. Sometimes you can have like three or, three or four appear at once. So yes, get, get those tames, get those tames. So once you have them guys, you want to head back to your base and make sure you have a ranch. So we're just going to go back to my base and I'll show you what I mean. Just like this people. Okay, so my ranch is set up right there. I've got my own little things dropping me cloth and honey at the minute. But if I wanted gold, what I do is I come to my pal box, which you probably know exactly what I'm going to do. And then guys, I'd put in my 10 mouse now like i said these guys are incredible i'm just gonna put them in the room i can rearrange all this after put a few in put a few in you can see them all running you can see them doing and what they'll do is over time they'll drop that gold for you now what i will say is i tested this and the most i could get to actually use my ranch at once including other powers was like four or five so i think you're limited uh, to four or five pals that will drop your materials at one single time. But the best thing is, if you've got 10 of these dudes, you can have 10 all like running around your base. As soon as these five little guys take a break, the other guys will rush in and do what they got to do and drop you that gold. So yeah, now it can take a while before they actually start dropping it, but eventually you see me, he's going to do it now. He's grazing. And there we go. I've got 10 gold from that. Again, if there's five of them doing it, uh, they would do it constantly. And it's like, it just builds up half an hour. You got thousands. And you'll see this on screen now. I literally waited about 10 minutes for all of what you're seeing on screen now. And as long as you ain't limited, you're capped in regards to your items on the floor. You do that in your custom settings. I think it's standard 3,000. As long as you ain't 3,000 pieces of gold on the floor, it should be good to just wait for about an hour and collect all that gold quite easily. And there we have it, guys. That's basically it. The best way, in my opinion, of getting that high quality power oil which is used for many many important things later on like polymer and and weapons and things like that so guys i hope this video did indeed help you out again you can farm a couple pals you can just get money you can get money other ways as well you can actually sell pals uh, which isn't as quick well okay it's probably quick you can just run out and tame any pal you want even the lower leveled ones get like between 100 and 200 each for them but it consists of you having loads of spheres you have to go back to a power vendor sell them to him i mean you can make money that way don't get it twisted but i definitely do think that just getting these cats and having them get you gold over time it's just the best way of doing that but yes do what you gotta do people now as far as i'm aware there is no pal in the game i mean i haven't got them all i haven't seen them all but there's none as far as i'm aware that when you apply it to your base, it will drop you that high quality power oil within your ranch. If I'm mistaken, please let me know down below. But as far as I'm aware, guys, I haven't seen any. 
And there we have it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.